Hello, my name is Brian Mills and I would like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, not only do we talk about great stocks, but we also talk about great books. My team, humble family, I would like to say happy Monday to you. I hope you had a phenomenal weekend. I hope you have a phenomenal Monday and I do hope you have a phenomenal rest of the week. Now, today I just want to talk about a few important things coming up this week for humble, not just um, humble news, but the economy. And I want to talk about um, the chart here. All right. Now, I like to um, I like to perform technical analysis and I'm a really big believer in reading and understanding candlesticks. All right. Now, if you don't know what a candlestick is, each. Red or green candle is what we call them, represents a period of time. Right? So each red and green candle on the chart represents a day because I have daily candles. And when you are able to understand the the size and the shape of the candles, you have an uh, you have the opportunity to understand the sentiment of the market. And each um, candle, well, not each candle, but most of them placed at specific points on a chart can give us a clear indication of the of the sentiment of the market. Again, nothing's guaranteed. But we can gauge the or we can forecast the future movement of the stock. So what I want to do is I just want to focus on the last two candles, which was Thursday and Friday. Now, when you take a look at Thursday's candle, you can see we open at 366 and we close at 315. So at the beginning of the of the the open the bears came in and they pushed their price all the way down to 288 before the bulls came back in and closed the price at 315 all right now the next day we had a slight gap down to 295 the bears they drove the price all the way up to 350 all right, we did have a low of 275 that day, but the bulls dominated the day. All right, now when we take a look at this chart here, we can can see we can see that this is a downtrend. All right, this is a clear, concise downward trend. All right, now at the end of a downtrend or at the top of an uptrend, specific candles to give us specific uh, meanings or they mean specific things that can help us gauge how the market or how the stock will perform going forward. Now, what we have here, these last two candles, this pattern right here is what we call the piercing pattern. All right, this is what we call the piercing pattern. We had the bulls come in, force the price down, the next day, we gap down to we gap down to uh, open of 295. The bulls came rushing in, all right, and we were able to push past or over 50% of the previous day candle. All right, so this is what we call the piercing ca the candle. Okay, this is the piercing pattern. Now. You know, we take a look at this candle, we would say that the 50% mark is there. All right. And we can clearly see that our candle pushed past the 50% mark. All right. Which is a great sign that the bulls were dominant. The bulls were dominant on this day. Now, this is a clear sign that there is a reversal in pattern on the way. But there are one or two things we need. We need the following candle on Monday to trade above this green candle or it needs to close above this green candle. All right. Now, sometimes when traders who like to jump in, sometimes they like to jump in when it trades above this candle. And some people like to sit back, let the next day happen, let Monday happen, let the next trading day happen 
and then they make a decision. So, so you have a trader that may come in 345. See how the candle is ending towards today. And if they notice that the candle is closing above this green candle, they purchase, they buy in because they strongly believe that a reversal and pattern is on the way. All right. Now, so going forward, based on this pattern, I truly believe that um, we're going to have a good, good, solid, strong Monday. But on March 10th, we have some major news coming out, some major economic news. So we're going to have the inflation report come out on March 10th. Now, this inflation report has a huge impact on our economy. Because if the inflation report numbers are higher than expected, basically what we could could surmise is that we're going to have some inflation. So the with inflation, basically the cost of everything goes up. The price of food, the price of gas, the price of transportation, the price of, of lodging, um, the price of interest rates, everything goes up. And so the market may panic. And we may have some pullbacks and we may have more red days ahead. All right. We may have more red days ahead. But again, for the short, short term, maybe Monday, we may have some bullish, bullish movement there. So there may be an opportunity for uh, those who want to get in, ride the wave up. Uh, that may be an opportunity for you. All right. And again, we have. Uh, different people with different goals. Some people want to just buy and just let whatever they have ride. Some people want to, um, you know, like me, my strategy is to read the technicals. Once we get too far uh, above uh, where I think we are, I may sell, wait for a pullback, and then look for opportunities to jump back in. All right. So those are the things I like to do from time to time. If I can add 50 to 100 shares, 200 shares a month over the course of year of the, over the course of a year, I'm doing great just by using that simple strategy. All right. And and, you know, some people are just trading the stock, jumping in and jumping out with no no goals to hold in this position long term. I'm team humble. I'm, I'm team humble all the way. But I may look for opportunities where I can add more shares without having to add any additional funds. All right. That's one strategy I may use. All right. But again, March 10th, really, really crucial day. Very, very important day. And we're going to have to be watching March 10th, the inflation report, because they may have a negative impact on the whole entire market. Now, I hope you learned a little bit about candlesticks. I hope you learned a little bit about the Pearson pattern. Yeah, if you did, hey, please leave a like. Hey, if this is your first time checking me out, hit the subscribe button and keep coming back for more wealth building information. Peace.